Hello, in this video we are going to talk about a theory which is gaining a lot of attention right now. It is called Pilot Wave Theory aka De Broglie Bohm Theory aka Bohmian Mechanics. It was proposed by De Broglie in 1927 at the 5th Solvay Conference. It was, But not a lot of physicists paid attention to it. It was brought back again by David Bohm in 1959. Okay, in this video we are going to talk about a very particular experiment and we will just keep math out of this video. Now, if you don't know what quantum mechanics is and how weird it is, you can check out a few videos we have in the description and continue with you. Now, if you are gone, welcome back and let's straight up jump into the double slit experiment. Well, not literally. But here, we have two slits placed close to each other and a light source. As classically predicted by the wave nature of light, waves coming out of both of these slits interfere forming subsequent light and dark fringes on the screen. Considering the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, if this experiment is repeated with a single photon at a time, the result will still be the same. For the general solution of the wave function, psi, will be given by the individual wave functions that are coming out of each of those individual slits. However, we also know that these photons had a definite position in a very small region of space. We know at the start of this experiment and at the end of this experiment at the detector, the photon only occupied a very small region of space. This is said to be the wave function collapse as the photon chooses one particular path when measured. Except the wave function collapse rule and the bonds probability rule and quantum mechanics will be consistent with every experiment that has been performed on microscopic so now you have an idea about how quantum mechanics explains the double slit experiment let us see how bohmian mechanics explains this strange phenomena bohmian mechanics says that a particle starting from a certain position will have a predetermined path that it will follow Two particles starting from the same position will take the same predetermined path and end up at the same place. Consider the standard double slit experiment. A particle starting from the source will take a predetermined path and end up at a particular point on the screen. Now if you consider another particle, it will take some path which will be defined by its initial position. Only problem is we can never say the two particles started from the same point. So it will take the path of the previous particle or it will take some other path. When you do this experiment with millions of particles, these are the paths the, that particle follow and hence you can see that we get an interference pattern. As you can see, this theory avoids instantaneous wave function collapse. This theory also avoids wave particle duality. In this theory, particle and wave are two real and, and distinct physical quantities, unlike quantum mechanics. This theory has realism, that is, it is, ob it is observer independent. Bohmian mechanics and quantum mechanics both are based on the same partial differential equations. A way to visualize De Broglie's pilot wave theory is believed to be physicist I. Scooter's silicon oil bath experiment. Where a particle is analogous to a silicon oil droplet that bounces on a standing wave that it itself creates while it lands on the surface of the oil. And this interaction between the standing wave that it creates and where it lands on the standing wave on its subsequent bounce guides the motion of the droplet. And this setup is believed to imitate behavior which was initially thought to be exhibited by quantum systems only. Experiments such as the double slit experiment, quantum tunneling and the trajectory of a particle inside a box have been imitated using this system. Consider a long barrier placed in between the two slits extending towards the region of the source. Initially the particle can travel to either sides of the barrier, but once it reaches one side, its bounces can no longer have any effect on the oil that is beyond this barrier. And since the waves cannot reach the other slit, its presence will not give us the interference pattern that is expected by the classical wave nature of light. So now finally on one hand we have the Copenhagen interpretation and on the other we have the pilot wave theory.
we need an experiment which predicts two different results for both of these theories the experiment that we just talked about is that and in that the copenhagen interpretation predicts that the interference pattern will still be present even in the presence of the barrier and if the picture that is visualized by the silicon oil droplet experiment is true then bohmian mechanics predicts that the interference pattern will not be observed and using the classical wave nature of light it is predictable that the interference pattern should be in no way related to that barrier which does not interfere in the direction the wave is proceeding in however this experiment has not yet been done so if you know that this experiment is being done somewhere or you have read about it somewhere or you are willing to do it please do let us know leave a comment and we will be happy to respond thank you